Two House Democrats sent a letter to NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell Thursday seeking access to the league's investigation of the Washington football team. There was no written report after the investigation resulted in a $10 million fine against the team and found its workplace was highly unprofessional regarding the treatment of women. The only material that has become public has been through leaks, notably one that cost Raiders coach John Gruden his job. In tonight's Sports Center report, Mark Schwartz tells us what might happen next. The NFL has said it has no plans to release its findings or the 650,000 emails it collected during a nearly year-long probe of the Washington football team. But some in Congress are putting the league's feet to the fire. The John Gruden resignation and the John Gruden emails certainly highlighted why um, this particular issue is so important. And I think that it's fair to say uh, we then decided to act the way we did uh, in a more expeditious manner. On Thursday, the chair of the House Committee on Oversight and Reform and Subcommittee Chair Raja Krishnamurthy co-signed a request to NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell for all documents, communications, and conclusions from the investigation by November 4th. I think the public is powerfully influenced by what we see in the NFL. But this issue of how they handle workplace safety and sexual harassment is deeply influential, especially with our men and boys. The five-page letter expresses serious concerns about what appears to be widespread abusive workplace conduct at the Washington football team. It also questions how the NFL has addressed bigotry, racism, sexism, and homophobia. I'm not here to talk about the past. And the medical experts uh, should be the one to be able to continue that debate. Congress has a contentious and memorable history of investigating pro sports leagues. When I asked Representative Krishnamurthy if he expects hearings on the issues raised in the letter, he told me all options are on the table and that Congress has tools to compel cooperation. I'm Mark Schwartz.